Up to this point, we have primarily used systems and inputs that are strictly real valued. In this lecture, we look at how we evaluate signals and systems that are complex valued. These systems are difficult to implement because we want to have real valued adders and multipliers. If x of n is complex valued, then I can take the form of a summation of e of the j omega naught n terms. Since the DTFT is linear, if we know the system will respond to one e of the j omega naught n term, then we know how the system will respond to a collection of these terms because we can simply add them together. As with any signal, y of n will equal the convolution of the impulse response function with the input signal. If we convert e to the j omega naught n to Cartesian coordinates using Euler's relation, we realize that our original system is actually a pair of systems with real valued inputs and outputs. We see that the real part of the input is cosine omega naught n, and the imaginary part of the input is sine omega naught n. We can find our final y of n by simply adding these real and imaginary parts together. If we have a complex valued Im impulse response and a complex valued input, we can still find y of n using convolution. Since convolution distributes like multiplication, we can reorganize our convolution to look something like this. This filter can also be constructed using only real valued components. Y of n can then be reconstructed by adding its imaginary and real parts back together.